Hello, good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, and tell me, how was your long weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo ese fin de semana super largo? Working. Working. You work on Thursday and Friday. Trabajó jueves yes. y viernes. Oh, yes. Double payment, doble pago. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Okay. You are making money. Haciendo dinero. Yes. Hay que aprovechar. Yes. You have to take advantage of that. Okay. Great. Excellent. And tell me, have you been working in the, in the platform? Yes. Ha estado trabajando en la plataforma. Sí. Yes. Okay. Sí. Excellent. Great. Sí. Okay. Ivania is here, and William Francisco too. Uh, we have one minute left. Let's wait for William Francisco to activate his camera. I don't know if Ivania is going to be able to activate her camera because she has some problems. Jose Pacheco, hello, welcome. Ah, he says good that you are a listener. Good evening, nice to listen to you. Estoy contenta de escucharles, ¿verdad? Después del fin de semana largo. Ah, uh, I thought that we were going to have class on Friday, but uh -uh, because of the, you know, the other holiday or el otro día de fiesta. Okay, so William Francisco, Jose Pacheco, Ivani Olmedo, and Filomena, thank you. Remember to activate the camera when I, um, when I say your name at the time for the, for the attendance, okay? So Ana Veronica, welcome, Dani. Hello, remember to activate the camera. Here is a prerequisite. Hello, Danny. Welcome, welcome. It is exactly the time, hello. eight. Hello, hello. And okay, we're going to get started because we're going to have a little feedback. Vamos a tener un repasito general porque desde Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, yeah, almost a week. Entonces vamos a hacer un repaso para recordar lo que hemos estado trabajando, sí. Okay, here we go. Today is our class 19. Mañana será la última clase. Porque por la situación que, que tuvimos el otro día de asueto, entonces se movió, ¿verdad? Y el día, mmm, nuestra clase 19 es ahora. Mañana nuestra clase número 20. Entonces mañana haremos el llenado de la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? A las okay. 8.30 exactamente. Espero que todo se conecten a esa hora porque tenemos que enviar la evidencia a esa hora al grupo de WhatsApp y usted completó esa encuesta, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, so welcome everyone again, Clelia, welcome, and here I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you guys, ok, and here we go. Today is Monday, September 19th, 2022, is that ok? When I make a mistake in the day, please let me know, okay? Si me equivoco en la fecha algún día, me dicen, hey, no, teacher, it is not that day, okay? Because sometimes you are planning for other days and you make that mistake as a teacher. So here, as I was telling you guys, today is our video conference number 19. Our first activity as every single day, every single day, Cada simple día que nos hemos estado encontrando, okay? Every single day we have been meeting. Greetings. Our activity number two is going to be our feedback. We're going to read the objectives and we are going to continue asking and telling people the specific location of places and directions surrounding my workplace. Alrededor de mi lugar de trabajo. So we're going to continue working with location of places. Our highlight task is vocabulary practice. We're going to work at page 45 and the wrapping up of the class. And here as every day, I need one volunteer in order to help me reading the objectives. Who's going to be that volunteer? Only one, one volunteer to help me, please. Okay, hey, I have two. 
Ah, okay, David. Hello, welcome, David. Please read the, Hello, the, the, the objectives. Okay, teacher. A specific objective. Participant will be able to ask and tell people the specific location of place and direction surrounding my workplace. Class objectives. Participants will be able to practice vocabulary. Thank you, excellent. So as I was telling you class, the uh, specific objective for the unit, right? For this unit number four is participants, you, all of you will be able, will be able, serán capaces de, to ask and tell, de preguntar y decir, le a la gente, people, the specific location of places and directions surrounding my workplace. Y los lugares que están alrededor del lugar donde yo trabajo. Okay, so the class objective is to practice the vocabulary that we have been practicing with in class. And here as every day, the reminder for homeworks and evaluations. Remember that you have the final test to submit, okay? Recuerden que tienen que tomar el test final. Hay un examencito final y pues hoy, La, el, quienes no han trabajado la, la sección para la clase 19 en los homeworks es acerca de los adjetivos que ya vimos también, ¿verdad? Positive and negative adjectives. Entonces, recordemos que la asistencia es importante para que usted tenga derecho a su diploma. Se contabilizan los minutos y... Eh, su trabajo en la plataforma, ¿ok? Es necesario obtener el 80% del promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactorio y también en los exámenes, el midterm que ya lo hicieron y el final exam, ¿ok? Que está en la plataforma, al igual que con la asistencia, porque las dos situaciones van simultáneas, ¿verdad? Pero esto es lo académico, porque la asistencia es con la administración, ¿sí? Recuerden la plataforma. Comienza a contabilizar su asistencia desde el segundo que ingresamos. Si tenemos problema, inmediatamente tenemos que reingresar. Y así va a ser en todos los cursos. Pero antes de ir al feedback, um, les quiero consultar porque les postearon ahora, les compartieron vía WhatsApp, eh, que como que hay algunas personas que aún no habían entregado los documentos, ¿verdad? Con planillas para el, el registro del siguiente curso, ¿sí? Entonces, si a alguien se le había olvidado preguntarle a, a las personas de recursos humanos, porque como jueves y viernes no, no se trabajó en muchos lugares, en otros sí, por diferentes situaciones. Entonces, recordarle a recursos humanos y también la fecha se les ha ampliado un poquito, porque era para hoy, porque, ¿verdad? Supuestamente hoy vamos a terminar el, la fecha final, pero de acuerdo a la información que les compartieron acá, ¿Cuándo es la fecha que les dice? Me parece que el 22, al 21. El miércoles. el miércoles, pero recuerden hacerlo, por favor, porque no sé si alguien acá trabaja en recursos humanos, pero a veces se, se pasan los correos, ¿verdad? Y entre tanta información que llega y llega, se le olvida. No es mala intención de la gente de recursos humanos, pero tantas actividades que hay, ustedes bien lo saben. Entonces, ustedes tienen que estar pendientes de pedirles de favor que les hagan... Eh, el llenado de esa información y que lo envíen porque en cada módulo se hace lo mismo, el mismo papeleo, nada más que le piden ahí la planilla del mes que ellos solicitan, ¿de acuerdo? En este me parece que es el mes de ¿cuál es el mes que les están pidiendo? Mm, planilla de julio, ok, julio hace un mes y algo, entonces continuamos, here we go welcome Miss. let me see Thank you, Miss uh, Milagro Madeline, for being here. Mm. Ana Marlene, welcome. Ah, hello, Carlos Miguel. Uh, Jonathan also. Welcome, welcome. All of you are really welcome to the class. So here, let's have the feedback. If I missed something, you tell me, okay? Si se me olvida algo, ustedes me lo recuerdan. So positive adjectives. We have been working with positive adjectives. Yes or no? Yes? Negative adjectives. 
adjectives before nouns. También hemos estado trabajando con los adjetivos antes de los nombres o sustantivos, ¿sí? We have been working with the structure there is and there are. For singular, there is. For plural, there are. You have been practicing speaking in the conversations and asking and answering questions related, associated to the topics. Han estado practicando speaking en las conversaciones, creando sus conversaciones y también haciendo preguntas y contestando. You have been practicing writing, reading, and listening to the partners and to the teacher. We have been working describing locations, and you have been describing your workplace, ¿ya? ¿Sí? ¿Algo más que se me haya olvidado? ¿En esta unidad? Ok. So here I have another reminder. Tengo otro recordatorio. Ajá, prepositions of place. You were supposed to tell me, teacher, prepositions of place, ¿ok? Let's remember that we use at in order to describe a specific point, ¿ok? In for enclosed space. On to describe where something or somebody is, but regarding or associated to a surface, relacionado a una superficie. Y esta información ya la tienen ustedes, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a evitar el, el estarla repitiendo, porque, por ejemplo, at the front desk, at the entrance, at the crossroads, at the corner, at the bus stop, at the top of the page, at the end of the road, at the door, in the garden, in San Salvador, in Puerto Rico, in a box, in a bag, in my wallet, in a house, in a car, on the ceiling, on the wall, on the cover, on the door, on the carpet, on the menu, on a page, on the floor, right? Entonces, estas son las eh, preposiciones del lugar más comunes que utilizamos y recordemos que at in on también son preposiciones de tiempo, pero en este caso, en esta unidad, nos focalizamos como prepositions of place, right? And you have been using them, asking, as I was telling you, and answering questions like this ones. Where do you live? I live in blah, blah, blah. Do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. I live in, a, in an apartment, okay? And do you prefer to stay at home or at work? And you say at home. I prefer to stay at home. Where are the prices of the food in a restaurant? They are in a menu. Where do you keep your money? I keep my money in my wallet, in my bag, in a purse, in my pocket, okay? Or your pants or your trousers or your blouse, okay? Or your shirt. Uh, where do you hang a clock on a? Wall, okay. Where do you hang a calendar? ¿Dónde cuelgan el calendario? ¿Dónde cuelgan el calendario? Where do you hang a clock? Hello, somebody here. Knock, knock. Is somebody here? Hay alguien por aquí que me pueda contestar esa pregunta. Where do you at hang? At no on on, on oh. the wall. Uh -huh. on the oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, here, more prepositions of place. Behind, eh, in, on, at. Las tres tienen el mismo significado, pero su intención, su posición es diferente, right? Between and among, both mean the same. Las dos significan lo mismo, pero el contexto es diferente. Because between two, two things, two people, two objects, two animals, among, three and more. Among, para. Tres o más personas, animales, cosas, okay? objetos. Next to, no problem. In front of, no problem. Opposite of, no problem. Okay? So, let's move. And then I share with you this structure. There is and there are. There is for singular, there are for plural. Let's remember that children is plural. Child is plural only one. It can be a boy or a girl. Singular, child, but children, two and more. Pero children is plural. It's the plural of child. An orange, some oranges. Una naranja, algunas naranjas. An avocado, five tomatoes. A table, three bags of vegetables. A person, singular. A tall building, singular. Two tall buildings, plural. 
two bottles of milk. Y acá tenemos los quantifiers que hemos estado viendo. Three, some, five, three bags, two bottles, two tall buildings, two. Esos son quantifiers, son cuantificadores. Es decir, expresamos la cantidad. Eso quiere decir cuantificador o quantifier. A cat, only one. An orange, only one. An avocado, one. A table, one. A person, one. A tall building, one. Okay? Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? No? Okay, so here, more prepositions of place. If you remember, you also have this information. Under, below, over, in front of, beside, or next to are uh, synonyms. They have the equivalent. Behind, around, across from, opposite, near, against, or opposite mean the same, okay, in the context. And now this is your work. Okay, class. Let's say, here, vocabulary practice. It is a general feedback because you're going to work in the following. I'm going to share this slide with you, okay, via WhatsApp, so you can have it as a reference. Okay, right now we're here. This is this is your group, okay? Over here. And there you are. Because you're going to use that graphic. That illustration. And you need to draw a column for adjectives, a column for nouns, a column for structures of or, or topics, prepositions of place, and prepositions of time. In here, you're going to check unit number four. And in this column, you're going to write the adjectives. For example, illuminated. All the adjectives, they can be positive or negative, or you can write adjectives positive and you write the list of the positive adjectives. And negative, negative adjectives over here, right? Nouns, for example, building. Nouns or substantives that you can find in the unit, unit number four only. Nombres o sustantivos que podemos encontrar en la unidad cuatro. For example, building. Another one could be, otro noun podría ser, hello, excuse table. me, table, yes, in the map, park, yes, church, gas station, and so on. And here, a list of the structures or topics that we have been practicing with in the unit. Yeah, acá los temas o las estructuras gramaticales con las que hemos estado trabajando en la unidad number four. And here, the prepositions of place in order to describe the place where I work or the place where someone else works o el lugar donde alguien más trabaja. And here, the prepositions of time. You are going to work in groups. Is that okay? So uh, if you want to work in groups and speed it up, uh, acelerar esto, you may divide the activities or you can do it as a group. It is up to you, okay? Do you have any question about this activity? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre esta actividad? En la parte de structures or topics, ahí como por ejemplo, uh, son los temas o estructuras gramaticales que hemos estado trabajando. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, yo les hice el repaso al inicio, ¿verdad? En okay. brainstorm, algunas, algunas, porque hay otras, ¿ok? Y okay. actually, acá, acá tienen algunos prepositions. Ok, pero tenemos no. que hacer uso en, la, en, la, en statement de todas estas partes que nos ha comentado. Adjective, sí, noun. Ya, ya. Yeah, yeah. Sí, de cada uno de estos elementos, que es lo que hemos estado trabajando en la, en la unidad, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, lo van a trabajar como equipo y luego lo vamos a presentar, lo vamos a compartir. But before we go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to take your, your attendance, okay? Because it is time to take your, 
Rapidez, but hold it. I need my. I don't know where my red marker is. Very Okay, anyways, here we go. Ana Marlene, hello, Marlene. Ana Marlene. Present. Okay, remember to activate the cameras, okay? Te voy en lo oscuro, teacher. Ah, okay, thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you. Barbara, Azucena, Present. hello. Okay, thank you, Barbara. Hello. Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you so much. Clelia, Miss Clelia. Present. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Dani Alberto. Present. Thank you, Dani. David Emanuel. Present. Great. Filomena Luz. Present. Thank you. Francisco Enrique. Absent. Guillermo Antonio. Present. Hello, welcome, Guillermo. Ivania Elizabeth, Ivania, Ivania. Ivania. Okay, great, thank you, Miss. And Jonathan. Here I am. Great. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jose Manuel Mejia. Jose Manuel Mejia, at the moment is not available. Karina Vanessa, Vane. Okay, she's not here. Madeline, Miss Milagro Madeline. Present. Noé is ahí. Noé is absent. Serafín. Bien. Ah, Bien. welcome. Thank you. Thank William you. Francisco. William, he's always here. William Francisco. Present, present. Thank you, William Francisco. Great. Okay, class. Now I ask you again. Do you have any doubt or question about the activity you are going to be working with in groups and in the breakout rooms? Pregunta sobre la actividad a realizar en los equipos? No? Okay. Anyways, if you feel more comfortable when you ask me when I monitor the groups, feel free to ask me when I visit your groups, okay? So right now I'm going to... Okay. Let's verify. Okay, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, I have uh, three groups of four and one group of three. When someone else joins, I'm going to send that student to group number four because in that group, we only have uh, three students, okay? So, Let's move and here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Es a repasar la unidad cuatro, okay? Noé, hello Noé. Okay, go to your groups please if you are so nice. Hello Noé, Noé, where are you? Noa, Noé. Ah, hello. Activate your microphone, Noé. Ah, hoy sí. Hello, ah, hoy sister. sí. Vaya, justo a tiempo. Lo voy a enviar al equipo number, group number four, ¿ok? Al equipo número cuatro, que ahí solo tengo tres okay. participantes. Ok, group number four. Okay. ok, ya le llegó la invitación, verifique, por favor. Sí. Ok, Gracias. great. Ok, bye. Great. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien. <laughs> Waiting for uh, August. Jose Pacheco, we don't see you. We don't see I'm you. here. I'm here. <laughs> Your voice, but we don't see you. Uh -huh. Only men here. Liar, liar, not lawyer. Liar. <laughs> hey, listen, class. Here you are, William Francisco. Okay, hold it. Eh, Jose Pacheco, Serafín Constanza, and Guillermo, okay? Uh, so listen, do you have any question about the activity? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre la actividad? Eh, solo para aclarar, eh, que al principio no estaba escuchando, eh, uh -huh. vamos a poner palabras, ¿verdad? Ahí en cada, 
Correcto, de acuerdo a cada una de, la, de las categorías, ¿verdad? De cada columna, ¿sí? Excelente. Ok, para que repasemos okay. todos los elementos de la unidad 4 que hasta el momento hemos estado trabajando, ¿ok? Perfecto. Ahí se subdividen o miran cómo trabajan, ¿ok? You organize yourself. Okay, okay bye. Bye. Vamos a compartir por aquí. Vamos a ver. Pantalla. Compartir. Vale. Okay. Entonces, según el diseño, eran cinco columnas, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Cinco, sí. sí. Cinco. Entonces, insertemos ahí este cinco por unas, algo así. Entonces ahí ordenemos. Ordenemos a ver qué tal. Ahí lo tienen en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ok, bye. Sí. Chao. Bye, teacher. Bye. No problem, no questions, no doubts. Ah, no, here, Jonathan. Miss Mabelin, Miss Veronica, no Miss Clelia, no problem at all. Hey, you're going to be the group number one. Finishing. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, puede ser, por ejemplo, un adjetivo podría ser, por ejemplo, Corto, short, la palabra es S A S S A H O R T, short. Uh -huh. No sé, la pueden escribir, pero yo no tengo que escribir. S short en los adjetivos. Recuerden en los adjetivos también que utilizaron para describir eh, su lugar de trabajo las oficinas, ok, y ahí Mr. Paz uh -huh. and Mrs. Aguilar, I remember, ok. Ok. okay. And remember that you can, uh, you can uh, have positive and negative adjectives. Uh -huh. yeah. Ok. Como adjetivo clean, como limpio. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the opposite, the opposite is the negative, right? Dirty. Dirty. Yeah. Listen, class, in this group, we have Ana Marlene, Dani Alberto, Ivania Olmedo, yeah. Jose Mejia, and Noé Alexander. And Noé Hernández, okay? Sí. No okay. sé si Ivania es un estadio oyente porque hemos estado... Ah, probably she had a situation with the microphone. But Ajá. Jose Mejia is here to help you. Noé, yes. eh, Dani y Ana Marlene. Ok. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. See you. Ok. Sí. Big. Eh, Ajá. Otros right. adjetivos serían flower. Eh, no, flower. No, no, flower no. no es adjetivo, ese es noun. Noun. Uh -huh. Pero de las que hemos estado viendo en la unidad. Ajá, eh, por ejemplo, les, les comentaba ellos, comfortable, eh, expensive, eh, exciting. Eh. De los adjetivos, ¿saben? Lo que utilizaron para descri describir su lugar de trabajo. Y lo que Ajá. utilizó Mr. Paz a Mrs. Eh, Aguilar eh, para describir sus oficinas. Ajá, yes, those are adjectives. Mm -hmm. Y en la siguiente página también hay más. Oh, yes, small, that's it. Ok, um, comfortable, todo eso. Comfortable. Uh -huh. uh -huh. eh. Oh, laudi, eh, laudi sería. Eh. Sí. Stressful styling. Um, 
On sailing, este, el otro sería este, Dides, creo que también fue. Eh, sailing, techo. I have, a, I, have, I have a question. How many we can uh, uh, put the right, right, the... right, 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 uh, right, right, as many as possible, tanto como sean posibles, porque la idea es repasar, por eso es vocabulary practice. Okay. okay. Pero como And podría how... avanzar, sería tal vez si se subdividen las tareas. Que mm -hmm. alguien, uh, uh, que propositions yes. of place, time, propositions. Um, time we have. To, to do that. To About do that. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay. Vale, entonces, eh, si quieren yo voy a agarrar eh, la, la, las preposiciones de, de lugar o cualquier otro. Ahí solo, solo somos cuatro. Tendríamos que agarrar uno, dos, uno y uno y uno. O podemos agarrar uno y uno y hacer ¿Y cuántos uno. Somos, ¿Y cuántos somos? ¿Cuatro o tres somos? Cuatro. ¿Y dónde está el otro compañero? Guillermo, en this group, Guillermo Antonio, José Pacheco, Serafín Constanza y William Francisco. Ah, William, no hacía falta, pues sí. Uh -huh. Pero ahí, pero... Vaya, fíjense que acá en Structures or Topics, acá son las estructuras gramaticales que hemos estado estudiando o los temas en otras palabras, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. For, for example, prepositions of place. Ese es un tema que vimos. Okay, no. But, but there is, there are. The structure of topics. Uh, or to, ajá, estructuras o temas que hemos estado estudiando uh, en la unidad cuatro. Uh, okay. okay. Y acá nouns son los nombres o sustantivos. For example, building, church, bank. Okay, uh, factory. Okay. Street. I, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, and, y luego, the, uh, creo que in the structure of, of topic, we write the name of the, the of the topics. Of the topics. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bye. Perfect. Bye. Entonces. Bye. Eh, el tipo podría ser eh, um, clean clean ahí lo, lo, sí. lo vieron uh -huh. clean no pero uh -huh. en español sé que son adjetivos clean <risa> uh -huh. clean uh -huh. eh, pero aquí que han visto aquí interviews Training centers, interviews, uh, buildings, uh -huh. uh -huh. street, street, todos esos son nombres o sustantivos. Aquí están ya, yeah. City Hall, Building Avenue, School, Restaurant, City Hall Park. Ok, pero si hay más, pues escríbanlo, la idea es repasar. Ah, bueno. Uh -huh. ah, bueno. Ok, este, lo que pasa es que no estamos... Dirty. Uh -huh. Y en la parte de structures of topic. Ah, no, esa todavía la estoy buscando. <ríe> En este equipo estaba Noé, Ivania y Noé, pero, pero Noé siempre tiene, ya saben, problemas con la conexión. Sí, teacher. Yes, miss. Eh, una pregunta en las structure of topics or, me... or, or topics estructuras o temas que hemos visto ah, oh. or... oh, en la unidad ajá en la unidad acá está Noé 
long life for Noé, mencionándolo y acá regresa. Okay, sí. Es que le, le leí or, le leí or, pero sí es or, ajá. Entiendo. Or, ajá, or topics, ya sean estructuras o temas que hemos estado trabajando en, en unit number four, en la unidad número cuatro, ¿ok? okay. okay. Eh, ya tenemos el, en los no. No. no, sí, trabajemos con uh -huh. la, la otra, como los temas. Estructuras o stop. Ajá, como los temas que hemos visto. En... Está ahí la preposición of place. La, la preposición of place son... Yo puedo... Sería, podríamos poner under, que es como por debajo. ¿Cómo? Under. under. Uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que están completando? ¿Qué es lo que están completando? Preposition of place. Ah, eso. Ya, ya completaron las structures or topics. No, no pero no. O sea, ahí, teacher, teacher ajá, ahí en... es que, ajá, correcto. Con correcto. los temas Esto, que hemos visto. Eh, Sí, pero, pero por eso José creo que le dijo prepositions of place. Ese es un tema que vimos. Ah, ajá, 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 sí. Ay, ay, me dice. Creo que había sí, porque ajá, ajá, yo me confundí, porque, acá, sí. porque prepositions of place es un tema, prepositions of time es otro tema, sí. Y así, there is, there, así como se lo hice en el feedback general al inicio de la clase, el listado de, te uh -huh. de temas en el brainstorming, ¿ok? Y luego ya profundizan sí. en cada uno de ellos, acá en las columnas, ¿sí? Ok. Vaya okay. los demás, cooperating, cooperating, collaborative. La, la w, las W questions. WH information yeah. questions, yes, that's it. Correcto. Ivania. Ivania estaba con ustedes. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, she's back. W question. <clears throat> Los adjectives. Remember, adjectives can be affirmative or negative, ¿ok? Sí. Pueden verificar ahí uh, when... Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar were describing their workplaces. Y lo que ustedes utilizaron para describir sus su lugares de trabajo, sus puestos de trabajo, sus oficinas, ¿ok? Ok. Where do you work? Exactamente, well, where you work. Otro topic es hours and places. Uh, daily routine, places. Ya dije, ¿verdad? Daily routine. Sí, está la otra, eh, espérame. Eh, las... Actualmente que revisemos cada quien en, en, en las... It is about unit four. Es sobre la unidad cuatro, ¿ok? Ajá. Eh, por ejemplo, en la unidad uno... Vimos los affirmative statements y los negative statements. Uh -huh. Y espero, But van a trabajar topic... acá, estamos repasando solo los temas de la unidad 4. Ok. Ok, easier for you. Más fácil uh -huh. para ustedes. Easy. Okay. Easier, not more easy. Easier. Easier, <laughs> easier. <laughs> ok. Ok, uh, uh... Ah, pues, ahí, hours and places de, de unidad 4. Eh, pues... In prepositions of place, Under the desk, ¿cuál es la preposición ahí? Um, under the desk, ¿dónde está ahí la preposición? Under the desk. 
Este... Oh, sería según aquí, under this, under, ¿no? No sería, Pues no. sí, under, under. under uh -huh. Yo les digo porque como under. han escrito toda la frase, toda la oración, under the desk, debajo del, del escritorio. Ah, entonces solo quiere la muy, ah. la muy. Sí, para que las ah, distingamos okay. de las prepositions of place and prepositions of time, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces lo que podemos hacer es que Solo para dejar el ejemplo, lo vamos a poner en negrito. ¿no? Ok, ok, to highlight. Uh, there uh -huh. are, is there, there mm. is. Ok, Building, mm. Avenue, School, Restaurant, City Hall, Park. Y acá les hace falta más, más structures or topics. Acá les hacen falta más estructuras o temas que vimos. Um, sí. Uh, sí, todavía sorry. seguimos ahí okay, okay. Mi, mi, minando la información. Ok, clean, beautiful, comfortable, dirty, dirty. Big, ok. Add in on. Great. Bye. Bye, to see Bye. you. See you. Este, ok. Ya estamos. En, en sí. Ok. May I listen to your work? Mm -hmm. Puedo escucharles. Ok, for example, people, let's see. Your adjectives. Which are your adjectives? Ok, este... Comfortable. Ajá. Uh huge. 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 No, no, huge, no. Huge. Huge. Ajá, uh -huh, gigantesco. Huge. Uh -huh. Huge. Nice. Yes. And small. Only those. Y lo no, que utilizaron para describir. Ah, those are yours. Sí, cada quien hizo. Ah, ok. So, I would like to listen to some nouns. Me gustaría escuchar a alguien que lea sus nouns. Your list of nouns. Chair, chair, desk, bell, pencil. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y otros que vimos en la unidad cuatro. Uh -huh. No sé ustedes cuáles más pusieron, niños. Tini. Tree, house. Ugly. No, ugly es adjetivo. Ah, ok. No es, no es noun. Ajá. Okay. Tiny, tiny también va en adjetivo. En adjetivo, sí. Tiny, ok. So, otro building, otro, otro, sorry, otros nouns, like church, restaurant, bank, yes. Bank. Uh -huh. Avenue, uh -huh. street, okay. ahí del mapita, todos esos son nouns. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. And the structures or topics studied in the, in the unit. There is, there are. Mm -hmm. Other? Mm, uses preposition of time. The uses of prepositions of time. Very well. Mm -hmm. Another one? Preposition of place. Very well. Another one? Uh, um, no sé, Clelia. Ah, estaban los positive adjectives, negative adjectives también. Uh, Excellent. So you see, you have studied a lot. I have studied a lot. Yes. Okay. So tell me some prepositions of place are behind, below, around, next to. Okay. In front of, opposite of. Very well. And the most difficult prepositions of time. In or at. Uh -huh, that's why it is 
uh, the most difficult. And also they are part of the prepositions of place too, right? También son parte de las preposiciones del lugar. Yes? Okay, very well, excellent. So um, I think that you are ready with your work. I think, I don't know, you have 30 seconds to verify what you have because you. I'm going to ask uh, one of the representatives to share in the group, okay? In the main session group, okay? Uno de ustedes va a representar al equipo. So you make the decision, okay? Bye. I'm going to Bye. double check the others. Bye. Are you ready, guys? Yes? yes. Okay, great. Ya casi estamos terminando. Ah, <laughs> me hacen okay. falta. ¿Cuáles les hacen falta? No, más que todo pasar la donde dice, por ejemplo, de la de la de the, the behind, front, todas las que se llaman preposition of place. Prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Preposition, of place. Prepositions of place, okay? Sí. Okay, you have 30 yeah. seconds. Positive. Both I'm sorry. I, I was supposed to go to another group. Okay. <laughs> bye. Yeah, again. Bye bye. Okay. I, teacher. Yes, sir. One question. Adjectives, it's hair, your mind, no, it's uh, all there. But those no. are possessive, possessive adjectives. Mm -hmm. Those are possessive adjectives, but uh -huh. in unit number four, what did we study? En la unidad cuatro, ¿cuáles son los adjetivos que estudiamos? Ah, entonces no incluimos. No, oh, sí. no está bien, pero ahí tiene que aclarar possessive adjectives y luego los adjetivos comunes. Por ejemplo, clean, dirty, small, comfortable, ah, lo que utilizaron okay. para describir sus lugares de trabajo. Y lo que utilizaron uh, Mr. Paz y Mrs. Aguilar, ¿sí? Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Y, 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 y en possessive adjet, perdón, en personal pronoun, eh, estaría bien aquí en, en los sujetos. También, sí estaría dentro de acorde, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿O no? ¿Dónde usted? En los nouns. No, 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 esos son pronombres, no son nombres, pronombres ah, personales. Pronombres, Ajá, okay, sí. Perfecto. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. A question. Eh, in the column structure of or topic is correct. There, there what, are, who, there what? is, is what, who, where, where, WH question words, yes. And also ah, places okay. and addresses, places and addresses. Lugares y direcciones, ¿verdad? Places en algo. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Ah, sí, sí, en sí. unit number four. Uh -huh. Places en... Ah, la tengo. En addresses, ajá. Uh -huh. La tengo, la tengo por aquí en algún lugar. En also, <laughs> eh, eh, aquí la tiene en la unidad. Addresses and places. Acá lo estamos mostrando en la página. Addresses and places. Oh, addresses There and is... Uh -huh. Addresses Aquí, and places. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have it in there. Addresses and places. Ah, okay. okay. There's, uh -huh. there are, there is. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. well, there are, sí, sí, está. There are, there is. Finish class. Finish, teacher. Okay, yes. very well. I would like to listen some nouns that you have in that category. Leanme algunos de los nombres o sustantivos que tienen en esa categoría. Nouns. Okay, uh, parking. Yes. Uh, elevator. Elevator. Elevator, school. Mm -hmm. Mall. A bank. Y street. Excellent. Very well. Among others, entre otros, ¿verdad? Sí. Among others. Among others, entre otros. Because Among. you have avenue, you have restaurant, all the nouns that appear in a map, yes. And also front desk, uh, office, yes. Yes. 
okay, uh, building, house, okay. Factory. Factory, yeah, truck, box, okay. All of those are common nouns. Okay, so I think it is time to get back to our main session room and we are going to share, okay? I'm going to close all the rooms and let's get back. Danny is connecting his audio. So class, I need you to choose one representative, okay? In group number one, I have Guillermo Antonio, Jose Pacheco, Serafín Constanza, and William Francisco. One of you is going to read the examples that you have for Adjectives, okay? Only this category, adjectives. Who's going to share with the class? Read only the adjectives that you as a group have. Only one. Guillermo, Serafín, Jose Pacheco, or William Francisco. Okay, Serafin, thank small, you. Small, so okay. small, bow. Yes. Okay, continue. Mm, solo a todos anoté. Okay. Y ahí el noun. De noun si tengo un montón. <laughs> Okay, maybe Guillermo wants to help you. Okay, Guillermo, would you like to help uh, your partner reading, reading the adjectives that you have? Uh, okay. Big. Yes. Tiny, tiny. Okay. Yes. Only yes, yes, no, yes, it, it is an affirmative, an affirmative word. Okay, it is, it word. okay, thank you. Now, class, who wants to help these guys? Okay, one volunteer from another group who wants to help uh, Guillermo's group uh, saying the adjectives that we have been practicing in this unit. Okay, one sure. volunteer, thank you. Sure, teacher. sure, yeah. very well. Okay, another one. Clean. Excellent. Dirty. One more. <laughs> okay. Tall. So, okay, tall. Very well. Now, if guys, if I tell you clean, is it a positive or negative adjective? Clean. Positive adjective. Positive. Very well. But if I say disgusting, what? Negative. negative okay if i say um comfortable is it positive or negative positive uncomfortable negative negative because it is the opposite very well now in team number two uh Barbara, Carlos Miguel, David Emanuel, and Filomena Luz. Your category is nouns, okay? Nouns, yes, this is the category. Who's going to represent the team? Nouns, this one, second one. Hi, teacher. Okay. Building, avenue, yes. school, 
Yes. Restaurant, City Hall, Park. Very well. Excellent. Okay. Hello, William. Would you like to participate? Okay, somebody else who would like to uh, help uh, David Emanuel with some other nouns that you have and he didn't mention. Don't be shy, come on, it's, it's your time to shine. Not to shy, to shine. No de tener pena de, uh -huh. de brillar. Bueno, próximamente van a estar en el nivel dos y no van a estar así, ¿verdad? No practicaron nada, va a decir el teacher. No, ojo, la otra teacher. No, you have to show what you know. Ok. Ah, pero como quién fue el que dijo que tenía bastantes este, nouns en la siguiente categoría. ¿Quién dijo eso? Hola. Serafín. <laughs> ok, Serafín. Help your partner. Factory. Factory, very well. Office. Desk. Desk Party. machine. Okay. Computer. Computer. Book. Yes. Agenda. Agenda, very Car. well. Car. Car. Only. Okay, <laughs> Danny, do you have some others? Cell phone. Cell phone. <laughs> Cell phone. <laughs> Excellent, Danny. Parking. Parking, very well. Excellent. Thank you. And now let's move to the next category. In the next category, we have structures or topics. Okay, so let's see. Structures or topics are for Ana Veronica, Clelia, Jonathan, Alexander, Milagro, Mabelin. Okay, who's going to share with the class? Yo inicio, yo inicio. Y después mis compañeros me secundan con cada uno. Adjective. Okay. Small, smart, unpleasant, comfortable, ugly, pretty, beautiful. Ok. Continúo. Um, no. Ch Charles, desk, bed, restaurant, bank, office, mm -hmm. copy center, reception, dining room. Excellent. Continuamos con los compañeros, este, uh, Clelia Jonathan, y, y Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, the topics or structures. That is for you. Sorry, please. Your category is structures or topics. Okay. Uh, preposition of time. Preposition okay. positive objective, negative objective. Okay. Only that. Uh, no, there is, there are a preposition of place. Okay, thank you so much. And the other partner is going to read the different prepositions. Is that correct, Veronica Mabeli? Yes, Clelia. Okay, okay Clelia, it is your time. Um, preposition of place or preposition of time? Uh, bueno, preposition both, of both place. because you are the only one. I tell the prepositions of time, only three. Uh -huh. Place, uh, below, uh, around, near, among, next, between, only. Okay, uh, the prepositions of time? In, at, on. Excellent, very well. And now, congratulations to all the groups. In group number four, we have Ana Marlene, Ivania, Jose Mejia and the big and great absent, uh, Noé. So who's going to uh, your category is uh, the prepositions of place. We would like to listen to this group to read their prepositions of place. Jose Mejia, help us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, okay, Jose. 
are uh, the star. On, under. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, around. 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 Over. Around. Behind. From. Okay, very well, excellent. And that's it. Okay, very well. And Carlos, what happened to you? You didn't participate today. In which group were you, Carlos? Carlos Miguel. Ya, ya pasamos. Pues sí, pero como no me aparece acá, no leí su nombre, usted bien calladito, very silently. You didn't say, me, I want to participate, I want to help my partner. No, you didn't say that. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations, very good. And now here we go, okay? Look at this. If you remember, we were working with this, right? Uh, last, uh, last uh, Wednesday, right? There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. Okay, the opposite of uh, illuminated is dark. Yes, nice is ugly. The opposite, the negative. Huge, the opposite or negative is small. Comfortable, uncomfortable. The negative adjectives, narrow, reception. Small offices, disgusting kitchen and smelly living room, okay? Do you remember that we uh, completed these sentences? Yes? Hello, class. Recuerdan que completamos estas oraciones? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so we said there is a small gym. There is, there are new training rooms because we have rooms, right? So it should be, there are. There are clean cafeterias because the noun is in plural, this one, okay, cafeterias. Meeting room, it means only one. There is a smart meeting room. Unpleasant bathrooms. There are unpleasant bathrooms. Okay. Tiny cubicle. There is a tiny cubicle, yeah? And now we're going to work on this. We continue working class with addresses and places. The idea is here to ask, to ask a partner where he or she works and what the address is. Acá le van a preguntar a sus compañeros, where do you work? Okay, what is the address? So we have two questions over here. If I say, okay, over here. Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay. If you ask me, teacher, where do you work? Oh, I work at English Corporativo. Yeah. And then what is the address? Mm. It's on 93rd North Avenue, Colonia Escalón. Okay, that is the address of my workplace. Is that okay? Yeah, so the questions are, where do you work? And you say the name of the place where you work. What is the address? And you say the address. Remember, you may say second street and we, and then here you say it's, on second street. This is the pronunciation, right? But you say like this, second street, yeah? Remember that we have North Avenue, 
Ooh. Here it must be a T. Ooh. And over here, if we have North Avenue, obviously that we have South Avenue because we can, we can translate that, yeah? But there are some names that they must be kept, yeah? Is that okay? So I'm going to delete my answer, okay? And, okay, I'm going to leave it like this. Where do you work? Mm, where is it? What is the address is the other question, right? What is the address? ¿Cuál es la dirección? And then you say the address of your workplace. Is that okay? So this is one and two, the two questions, number one and number two, okay? So in the groups, you are going to take your time in order to ask and answer these questions, okay? Questions or comments? Doubts? No questions? No, no questions. Okay, if you want to take a screenshot of this pair, of this pair of questions, you feel free to do it, okay? Where do you work and what is the address? Okay, now let's move to the breakout rooms. And you take your turns, okay, asking and answering. Right now, I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay, go to your groups, please. Join your groups. Join your groups. Where do you work? What is the address? Uh, Danny, your group was with. Danny, su equipo era con. Ana Marlene, Jose Mejia. Mm -hmm. Okay, group number four. Okay, bye, Danny. I sent you the invitation. Okay. Hello. Here you are, Ivania, Ana Marlene, Dani, and Jose Mejia, okay? Okay. Okay. Well. Gracias, William. Entonces, we are your work, Guillermo. Pero mira, dice, ¿y cuál es tu dirección? Imagino que es este, la dirección tuya o del trabajo. Perdón, perdón, no, no escuché, está ¿Ah? el problema. Es que ahí no dice, what is your address? What I is read. the address? ¿Cuál es I la read. dirección? Obviamente del trabajo. Where do you work? <laughs> I work, bla, bla, bla. What is the address? ¿Cuál es la dirección? Obviamente del lugar de trabajo. What no, is espérate. the address, not your? Sorry, es que como... No, pero fíjese una, el... una, una, una palabrita, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Eh, ya cambia el significado. Ok, what is the address? Escuchaste ¿Cuál es play... la dirección? Ajá. Workplace. Es que... Ajá, así es. Exactamente, por eso pensé que significaba diferente. Ok. <risa> <risa> ok, bye. No problem. No problem? No. Okay. No. Do you have any doubt? Comment or question? No. No, ahorita solo estamos escribiendo respuestas a cada quien para luego preguntar. Okay, great. Ah. And Jonathan, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, yes. Jonathan. Uh, where do you work? Uh, I work in SAC Integral SA. 
Dubai, Panamericana, two Sonsonate, thirty seven and a half kilometers. Okay, thank you. Eh, Ana Marlene le pregunta a Ivania. Marlene con E. Sí. Marlene, Marlene. Marlene. Ivania, no sé si en realidad está conectada o solo está de oyente, porque ya lo estamos hablando, no responde posible. O le... Probar, pro, probably she is a listener. Ah, okay. ok, Daniel me puede Maybe preguntar a mí. Working. Ok. Uh, where do you work? At Grupo Lorena. Ah, en el mismo lugar trabajo. Yes. Ah, they are partners. Uh, that is why she felt so comfortable saying, Jose Mejia, please help us. And then, oh, yeah. <laughs> But Marlene, you are not his coordinator. No. <laughs> Or supervisor. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Now we know. Okay. Bye. What is the address? It is on third. Which? No, let's keep it up. Uh -huh. Colonia Escalón en inglés. Never heard. Así se Colonia Escalón. Creo que así se dice. Colonia Escalón, ya. Yeah. Yes, right? no. Because they are going to ask for Colonia Escalón or the Escalón neighborhood, but Colonia Escalón. Neighborhood, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Neighborhood. 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 Ahí está el ejemplo. Pero no lo veo mucho, está bien pequeño esa letra. Va, ahí está. Aquí era, ¿eh? Yes, ahí, ahí, ahí. Ahí está bien. Ya la tengo también. Sí. Ahí ready. Yo también lo tengo. teacher, la duda que teníamos. Ok. Teacher. teacher tenemos una duda nada más. Cuando okay. está el caso, por ejemplo, Colonia Ciudad Jardín, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Eso no se traduce. Mantenemos el... Yeah, you can keep it. Because in our country we say Colonia. Pero nos uh -huh. referimos a que un, si es un nombre propio, Colonia Ciudad Jardín. Digamos. Ciudad Jardín. Dice, sí. Así se llama, es nombre propio. Ciudad Jardín. Un, tenemos la duda si se traduce, si tiramos una traducción en inglés o, o solo lo dejamos así. No, si colonia, alguien... colonia, ajá. Because that is how they are going to find it. Porque así es como lo van a encontrar. ¿Okay? Ah, Aunque okay. ellos para colonia utilizan neighborhood. No, uh -huh. porque mucha gente lo que hace es que traduce colonia como colony. Y colony es otra cosa, ¿sí? En los tiempos antiguos. Yeah. Pero igual mm -hmm. tiene sentido lo que usted dice, que si viene un gringo ya muy uh -huh. pronto una dirección aquí, en el Google Maps lo va a llevar a hallar como Colonia Ciudad Jardín. That's correct. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Que ahí ya practicamos todos, teacher. So everybody had the chance to ask and answer. Yes. Yes. Todos tuvieron la oportunidad de eh, preguntar y de contestar. So you practice listening, you practice speaking, and you practice writing. Yes. yes. Y también mm -hmm. la escritura. Okay. 
that information is going to be useful for the next activity. And now we're going to return to the main session room. Okay, here we go. So you are ready, right? You have the chance to ask and answer. Is that okay, Miss Veronica and Jonathan? Yes. Okay, let's wait for the other partners for a couple of seconds, and then we move to the next activity. Uh, I think that by now in every company, all the employees have a patch, yeah? And you have an ID, is that okay? Yes, in your companies? And an yes. ID, okay, and you have yes. that you can, okay? Where? So you, you have your identification. Or carnet, in some places it is called carnet. So here, I'm going, to, I'm telling you that because it is part, okay? Look at this. Employee's information, name, Mauricio Quintanilla. Office, main phone, 72039164. Workplace, Arrows Technology Company. Address, on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, number 853, Santa Cecilia San Salvador, job position software designer, department production. Do you remember when I asked you what department do you belong to or where do you belong to in a company? And you said to the communications company, to the sales uh, department or to the purchase department the accounting department and so on. In this case, okay, Mauricio Quintanilla belongs to the production department and his ID is M that stands for Mauricio, Q for Quintanilla and 108359. This is his ID number, okay, his ID. So you are going to read this information you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms and you are going to read again the employee's information and circle which of the alternate directions below is the correct one. You have to look at page 39 because there is a map. Where is this place located? Is sitting number one, two, three, or four? Okay. When you finish this, we're going to come back and I'm going to tell you what else you're going to do. So uh, it is a research information, okay? Um, es un trabajo de investigación because you move, okay, you scroll, 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 scroll at page 39 where you find the map. And here you're going to find the information and you're going to decide which of these alternatives is the most appropriate. Is it number one, two, three, or four? You discuss it as a group, okay? You have five minutes the most in order to do that activity at page 45. Ready? Here we go. Okay, go to your groups. I send you the invitation, go to your groups, please. Jose Pacheco, I need you in group number one. William Francisco Flores, I need you in group number one, two. Okay, William Francisco, go to group number one if you are so nice. William Francisco, William Francisco, we need you in group number one. Lo que, lo que dice la carta de presentación, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Ahí, ahí tienen sí. que ver cuál de todas esas alternativas es la que da la dirección 
correcta de acuerdo a lo que aparece en la, pan, en la página 39, ¿sí? Ajá. Ajá, entonces, sí. ¿cuál de esas cuatro alternativas es la mejor descripción para llegar a ese lugar? Es la correcta, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Solo es. Okay. Eh. Well, please, 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 el lugar empresa. de trabajo. Ajá, la empresa, la empresa. La empresa, ah, sí, porque abajo es la dirección, ¿verdad? Workplace, ajá. Ya, 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 están, ya están identificando el, el, en el mapa de la página 39. Um, Eso es lo que tienen que hacer en este momento. 39. En la página 39 tienen que encontrar la dirección exacta. Por eso les dije, lo que tienen que hacer es una actividad, por eso tienen cinco minutos nada más. Uh -huh. Tienen que buscar en la página 39 cuál, de acuerdo a ese mapa, cuál de estas cuatro direcciones es la correcta para describir. Eso es lo que tienen que hacer nada más. Solo eso se les ha indicado. Okay. On Roosevelt Street oh, okay. and Fields Avenue. Verifiquen de todas esas cuál es la más correcta. Ok. Ok. Ah, ok. Verifiquen it's... solo es. Este y aquí. Ajá, doble. Así. En paralelo. Bueno, son lo mismo, vea, pero aquí lo tengo los dos para no estar para arriba y para abajo. Abajo en department. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál ya ¿Cuál? seleccionaron? ¿Cuál es la mejor dirección para describir, para ubicar a Rose Technology Company? Esa es la actividad que tienen que hacer porque no veo el mapa de la página 39 que lo estén analizando. En lo que yo entendí, yo le dije, pues, no lo entendí bien. Pero la es que no actividad, es que usted tenía que trabajar acá en la página 39, les dije, irse al mapa y ubicar cuál de las cuatro alternativas que están abajo es la dirección correcta para llegar a esta compañía. Pero esa es la segunda actividad o la única. No, esa es la única que tienen que hacer en este momento. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. okay. Por eso les dije, solo cinco minutos, les Solo okay. para eso, porque solo es una actividad corta. Este, ¿en la página 39, José? Sí, si gusta, la pongo acá. Ok. Ready, ready with your answer. Ya, Después, teacher, ¿sabes? estamos pegando. Ready. Ok, Serafín va a hacer la presentación. En este <risa> short. <risa> Porque dice, yes, ready, y a la hora de, ok, let's get back. No, no, estamos pegando otra lámina, la 39, para anotarla allí. Porque no le dimos screenshot, please. Pero, pero revisen sí. bien el mapa, revisen bien el mapa. Ah, de la ah, página de la 39. Respuesta, compañero. Ah, sure, seguro. Yes, I'm okay. sure. De hecho, la indicación dice, re, mm -hmm. lee nuevamente la información de la empleada y encierra en un círculo. ¿Cuál de las direcciones al, es correcta? Pues sí, la dirección mm -hmm. alternativa. Sí. Uh -huh. Number three. Number three. It's correct number three. Uh -huh. It is located is. of Rusby. Okay, here we are. And we have a volunteer to share the answer. Ya tenemos voluntario para compartir la respuesta. Okay, let's get an agreement on this activity. Ya hay voluntario. There's a volunteer, but I don't see him right now over here. Maybe he vanished. ¿Dónde está mi voluntario? Porque era un él. It was a he. Esperemos, esperemos. Let me see. Let me verify. <laughs> He's still in the group. And in group number four, they are, they are still working on that. Okay, in a couple of seconds, they are going to come back. They are coming back because the platform brings you back directly. But let me see. Yeah, they are in their way. Okay, class, listen. Here, the instruction was to work in activity number three. 
read again the employee's information and circle which of the alternative alternate directions below is the correct one. Look at the map page 39. As number one, you have, it is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and Book World. Or it is located along Roosevelt next to the city hall at the park. And then if we get back at page 39, here we have, Arrows Company. It is Roosevelt Street, Second Avenue, First Avenue. So, which is your choice? Mm -hmm. One, two, or three, or four? Three. Number three. Number three. Let's see. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and Book World. Yes? Between the yes, restaurant please. and Book World. Let's double check over here. Restaurant and book work. Exactly, there's no way to get lost. No hay forma de perderse, yes? Okay, very well, congratulations. After I was fighting with some of you because you don't follow instructions. Okay, and now here, employee's information, okay? So um, let's see. Right now, you are going to do the following. You are going to create, okay? Your employee's information. Name, your name and last name. The office main phone, the workplace where, okay, you work, the address of your workplace, your job position, the department that you belong to, and the ID that you have, okay? Now it is the time to do this for you, yours, your own, okay? And later you are going to read it to your partners in the group. Is that okay? Yes? Hello, is it yes. clear? Yes, it is. Now it is the time to do this, okay? About you, acerca de ustedes mismos, okay? Employees information. And I think that five minutes is enough. Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes okay, because you know by heart that to know by heart, saber de memoria, know by heart, saber de memoria, okay, go to your groups, I sent you the invitation, go to your groups and create your ID as the employee. Jose Pacheco, please join your group. Okay, thank you. captura de pantalla ahí? It is in the manual. Okay. Manual. Do you want es to share it? ¿Quiere que se lo comparte? Para que le tome una screenshot. Yes? Sí, 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 teacher. Okay. Yes, please, gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now begin working. Uh, office main form. Mm -hmm. Two, three, six, one, zero, two, one, seven. Workplace. M no. um, okay.
Sí, tienes razón, Guapo. Teacher, are you here? Hello, hello. We have a question. Tell me, Miss. En el workplace, es, uh, tenemos la duda. Si es the name, compañía. only the name of the company. Ok. Because in the one below, you have the address, the address of the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, address. Hikwai Panamericana to Sonsonate 37 and a half kilometer. Uh, job position. Requirement impact. Eh, department Production ID 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 ¿Y ese número de qué? Es eh, su número de carnet o número de identificación Ah, ok Ok Porque acá M stands for Mauricio Q Quintanilla And then the number that the, the company has assigned you El número que la compañía le ha asignado, ok? Ok. I think one, six. Así yo pensé que sí. Creo que sí. Sí, department. Department is uh, I business, business. Business um, department. Miss, Miss, I, I have a question. Uh, uh, the, 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 the quiz or the form to, to do that, the. Tu idea es tu identificación, pero imagino que es tu DUI, pero. No. ID is the one that the company has assigned you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es el número que la compañía le ha asignado porque este es su ID de uh -huh. identificación de la compañía. Sí, como número no de... No va a poner el personal. No, es el número que, el, que llevan el registro en la compañía. En algunas compañías, you don't have to put your finger or your eye. You just need to show your ID and then click. Ya. Yeah. The scanner. Mm, uh -huh. No tenemos. In some companies, en algunas compañías. <laughs> It's a number of Usted, usted, usted eh, Serafín, lo que hace es que your blue eye, su ojito azul pone. <laughs> <laughs> Next yes. to, like that, okay. Sí, face. Okay. I know, uh, but there is I... a problem with the face, pero es problema con la cara. Because when it, when, no, yes, because in many places, when they capture the, the capture picture, the, 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 picture uh -huh, the uh -huh, yeah. And when you get close and you have a different motion because you are in a hurry <laughs> and it doesn't identify your face. No le identifica <laughs> la cara, la expresión uh, de la it's cara. A it's a beautiful, the face is uh, <laughs> really. <laughs> so you say with uh, filters and no filters. <laughs> Expectation yes. and reality. <laughs> It's just joking. What you were expecting. Okay. Continue, please. Two more Thank minutes you. to finish. My name is uh, Barbara Rivas. Uh, office, my form is two, three, zero. Six zero two uh, five uh, seven. Where place is M A H address on La Palma, Chalatenango. Job position. Um, Assistant and the, the 
department uh, production ID y teléfono de oficina. Eso sí es público, así que ahí corre. De todas maneras lo inventamos. Vaya, vaya, dele, dele. <risa> ok, dele, Clelia. Dele, Clelia, o sea, dele ahí. Ya, pero ya lo dije, le toca a Ella lo dijo. Ah, perdón. Ah, Jonathan, Jonathan. Sí. Eh, Uy, perdón. Me... <risa> sorry, sorry, Jonathan. Sorry. Ney, Jonathan Ramírez, Office, okay. my phone, eh, 7120-2704, Workplace SAC Integral SA, eh, address in 47 Avenue and Alameda Franklin Delano Roosevelt, San Salvador. Eh, job position software develop, developer, eh, department is AT department, eh, ID, eh, J J R five six two one three. Va. Ya estamos todos. I was about to ask you that. Very well done. Congratulations, class. Okay, excellent. So you have been practicing addresses, jobs. Yes. Uh, positions, what else? Uh, your names and numbers. And also the, the ABC, the alphabet, because you say uh, to say your ID, you mentioned the, the letters of your name and last name, okay? Now I think we're going to get back to the main session room in order to continue with our next activity. I know he's having problems with his connectivity. I think that all of you have had the chance, okay? So let's get back. Okay. Okay. Uh Hello, welcome back. Now we're going to listen to one of your partners, okay? Carlos uh, Miguel, would you read your um, employee's information? Hello, okay. Name Carlos Maña, um, office, my phone, office, my phone, uh, 72039164, workplace, University, Gerardo Barrios, Address, uh, address it's on Street Las Flores and Magnolias Avenue in, Escola, in Colonia Escola in San Miguel. Okay, thank uh, you so much. The ID? The ID is 777. Are you sure about that 777? Yes. Okay, <laughs> I, thought, I thought that you were going to say 666. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. One more number. Okay, now let's listen to Jonathan. Hi. Jonathan. Okay. Hi. Your info. Name, name Jonathan Ramirez. Office, uh -huh. main phone, 72039164. Okay. Uh, workplace is SAC Integral. Uh, address uh, on 47 Avenue and Alameda Franklin Delano Roosevelt, San Salvador. Uh, job position, uh, software developer. Department is Department 80 Department. Uh, ID JR56213. Okay, thank you so much. Very well done. Great. Do I have one more volunteer? Porque los otros dos fueron voluntarios. Do I have another volunteer to read the information? Knock, knock. Hello. Okay. I'm going. Okay, Danny, 
read your information and the rest of the class. Danny, please, we are all ears for you. I'm going to take your second attendance when Danny finishes. Okay, Danny, read your information. Nay, Daniel Ramos, office, my phone, 7260712. Two A, Workplace Saran, Address, Hirguay, Panamericana, Two, Sonsonate, Thirty Seven, and a Half Kilometer. Your position, Requirement, Impact, Department, Production, ID, One Six A A Six. Finish. Okay, thank you. Very well done. Great for your participation. Activate your cameras because I'm going to say your names for the second attendance. Anna Marlene, Marlene. Here I am. Anna Veronica, are you here, Anna Veronica? Present. Pero yo veo todas las, yo no sé qué pasó aquí que todas las cámaras se fueron a, a oscuras desactivadas. Voy a esperar que activen las cámaras. No, no lo Acá veo. Estoy. Sí, pero está, solamente veo a Guillermo, a Carlos, Clelia, a Bárbara. Hola. Solo dos, tres no están activas, teacher. Uh, yo sí la tengo activa. Ahora sí, sí, sí right sí, now, no. yes, right now, yes. Ahí sí, no. Verónica, Carlos, Guillermo, <ríe> Clelia, Bárbara, en José. Ivania está pendiente. Ivania. Ok. Let's see. Um, Ana Verónica is here. Barbara, where are you? Ah, yes, she's, she's here. Carlos, I see you. I am here. Carlos Miguel. Clelia is here also. Present. Great. Dani, I see you. Present. David Emanuel. Present. Ajá, now yes. And, and Guillermo is frozen. Filomena. Luz. Present, present. Please. Thank you. When you say present, you activate the camera. Shame on you. Francisco Enrique. Guillermo. Frozen, present. but here. Frozen, but here. Uh, Ivania. Here I am. Okay, Ivania, thank you. Uh, Jonathan. Here I am. Okay. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Okay, Mr. Pacheco. Jose Manuel Mejia. Yes, I'm teacher. Thank you. Karina, Vanessa, Vane. Not today. Miss Milagro Mela, Madeline. Present. Noé. No is absent. We got problems with the connectivity. Mr. Serafin, where are you, Serafin? Here I am. Now I see you. And you cover the others. Y se cubren con los otros. William Francisco. <laughs> but there is a recording as an evidence. Pero hay grabación con evidencia. William Francisco, where are you? Present. He's always here. He has been always here. Okay, class, listen. Miren, mañana a las 8.30, todo el mundo tiene que estar acá porque vamos a llenar esa encuesta y es requisito para cerrar el, el, su proceso, ¿verdad? Ok, now let's move to the next activity. I was listening to you practicing, ok. In the, uh, when you created this uh, employee's information. And now we move over here. Addresses and places. Here we have at page uh, in your manual 46, the following. Okay. Prepositions of place. Where is the park located? It is located among many places. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on various street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school, después de la escuela, al pasar la escuela. Now you are going to complete the conversation using a preposition from the box and you need to go back at the map on page 
39 and look and you have along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, under, along the street, in la calle, sobre la calle, along the street, past, después de, okay? And then you have the Sport Palace is, the City Hall is, the restaurant is, and the church and the city hall are, okay? And here you have to complete the following employee's information, but not yours, about someone else. Porque como ya tienen su información, you interview, for example, uh, Serafin, what's your name? No, I don't listen to you. Aunque me diga, le estoy hablando, no, I don't listen to My you. Name. <laughs> <laughs> My name is? Serafín Constanza Rivas. Okay. Uh, what's your office main phone? And you dictate to me, okay? And where do you work? Your workplace? And you say to me, what's your job position? What, yes. what, de what department do you belong to? The address? Your ID? Okay? The information. Porque van a completar esto, pero con la información de otro compañero o compañera. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, pero primero se van al mapa de la página 39 y completan, ¿ok? Utilizando las preposiciones que ya conocen y estas que están acá. Along the street, in front of, behind, next to, between, recuerden solo entre dos. Across, past, después de, ¿ok? Under. Questions sobre la actividad number five and number six. Está claro. Hello? Clear. Okay, yes, clear. Yes. Now let's go to the breakout rooms and let's work. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Go to your groups and practice. William, go to group number one. William Francisco, we need you in, loop, in group number one. William Francisco, Flores Murillo, we need you in group number one, William. Thank you. Great. Bye, sir. Serafín. Okay. Ya tenemos lo que hemos dicho antes, ¿verdad? Sí, pregúntame a mí si gusta. Okay. Employees information. No, hay que, hay, hay Miren, que ¿y, por qué hace, ¿Y por qué hacen las cosas al revés? Les dije el ejercicio 5. ¿Tiene la, la imagen del mapa? Yes. ¿La tiene? Acá se la voy a compartir para que le tomen un screenshot. Para que trabajen. ¿Ya está? Ya. Ok. Sí. So there's no excuse. Vaya, entonces me van a completar primero estas oraciones. ¿Verdad? Con las preposiciones que tiene acá. Along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, or under. The sport palace ubica en el lugar y the sport palace is bla bla the bank. Ahí tienen que utilizar una preposición de esta. ¿Sí? Ok, según cómo está en el mapa, ¿verdad? Sí, de acuerdo al mapa, okay. correcto. Excelente. Ok, yes. y luego... Y después hace sería esto la información de los compañeros. Claro, porque esta ya la tiene, solo de dictar la sí, otra. Sí, ya la tenemos, pero de, intercamb okay. de intercambiarla. That's it, that's correct. Ay. Ok, bye. Solo se ha... Así es. Te iba a decir... Tendríamos que saber dónde está el norte. Ah, podría. Ah, mm. uh, no, dice. Oigan, oigan, de acuerdo a, a, a las oraciones que, que, que tienen y las preposiciones que están ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, sería along, in front sí. of, behind, next to, between, across, past or under. Past es de Alon, eh, para mí, next to. Eh, Porque along the par. bank no puede decir. Along the bank no puede ser. Usted next puede decir. To, yes. In front, in front of bank sería. In front, in front of. 
Ajá. In front of the bank, en frente al banco. In front of the bank. Sí, in front ah. of the bank. Aquí es okay. por place. Ajá, this Ajá. is from the in front bank. Front of, in front of, si no puede estar a la par porque hay una calle de por medio. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. Mm. That's it, yeah. Ok. Yeah. Ya. ¿Quién va a presentar? <laughs> <risa> Ahorita les digo cómo presentar. Ok. <risa> vaya, vaya. Ok. Ya hasta se autopremiaron. <risa> That's ok, great. <risa> Yo también no como le quito eso. <risa> <risa> ok. Vaya, dele. <risa> ok. Ahorita, ahorita. Venga, sí. No, el mapa no se ve. Ah, solo ven a principio. Sí, no se... Entonces, hace el favor de poner el mapa y vamos a estar poniendo las preguntas en el chat. Uh -huh. Esto no ve el mapa. Ah, solo el mapa, pone, por favor. Comparta okay. solo el mapa. Only the map. Ahorita, ahorita. Right. Okay, the first, great. The first uh, the sport place is there. The sport place between. Is correct, teacher? Between. ¿Qué banks. es lo que dice la. Ajá, en relación al banco nada más. ¿Cuál sería la preposición ahí a utilizar? Between. No, porque no es entre el banco. In front. In front of. Or across from. In, ah, in front ah. of or across from. Si fuera between sería school and bank. ¿verdad? Ajá, pero por eso hay que leer el contexto de la oración, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Second, uh, the city hall is between, ahí sí, ¿verdad? City hall. Sería the school and sure, dice la pregunta. Ah, the, the city hall is uh -huh. between the truth and book world. Ajá, uh -huh. in that case is between, yes. Between. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, number three. The restaurant is uh, Freeze Avenue. The restaurant. And the city hall are in front of, in front of, in front of the park. Okay. Yes. Okay, finish. Ahora vamos, employees information. Ahí yes. cada quien ponga ahí. Ah, la, la de un compañero creo que era. Sí, le compañero. Uh -huh, este. Okay. Um, el sacrificio. David. <risa> voluntario. Ajá, voluntario, no tan voluntario. <risa> Dale. Tengo tranquilo. una duda, mis. Eh, Ajá. La... Está Serafín. ¿Qué? Por ejemplo, ¿Te la mandaste, tercera va? que dice eh, no me ha caído sorry, pero, pero, eh, la tercera dice the restaurant is is along First Avenue yes that's sí, correct okay. that's correct mm -hmm. okay. along yeah tengo que Quiero ver, the city hall is. Vaya, la cuarta sería entonces de Crucian, the city hall are. ¿Dónde está? Are... The short. Eh, la iglesia. Eh, in front. A ver, aquí lo tenía, mira. Eh, sería behind, behind the. Sí, the, the short. The short, the city hall are. 
Eh, pues aquí puede ser across, uy, across the path, the park. Pero eh, veamos la preposición across. Va, el, el, puede ser, puede ser eh, behind, porque por lo general el frente está siempre el, el frente del. Ah, no, in front. In front of, in front of, in front of the park, in front of the park, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Along in front of him, he win across. De ahí la oh. otra sería sustituir, verdad? Yes. Employees information complete a, a following employees information about someone else, the alguien más. Okay, not yours. Okay. Tercera sería. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería la tercera? Sobre. No. Y fue. Es que ahí tengo duda. Y si le damos la... al otro lado de que es across. Read the sentence, read sentence number three, please. Alguien que lea la oración tres. Okay. The restaurant is uh -huh. First Avenue. First Avenue. First Avenue. It is uh, First Avenue along, mm -hmm. along, along Avenue, along, along okay. First Avenue. ¿Y podría haber otra posible respuesta o solamente H? ¿Qué otra habría? Podría, de las que le están dando, porque podría ser on First Avenue o in front of the mall, pero como depende del contexto de lo que le están diciendo, ¿sí? Porque para el contexto podría ser on y, y uh, alone. Ajá, pero como en el set o bloque de preposiciones no aparece on, entonces sería alone. Uh -huh. Okay. Hay una otra pregunta de Church and City Hall. Yo dije in front of. In front of the park. Of the park. Uh, yeah, in yeah. front of the yeah. park. Yes, that's correct. Y faltaría una ahí, chicos. No, Only ahí four. estamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Only four. The church. 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 The church. The church. The shore in the and the city and the city. Shore. Ready, Guillermo, to say the answers for the sentences, to complete the sentences. Okay, you're telling me yes with that big smile. Great. Let's wait for the others. Listen, I know that in some groups you didn't finish with the completion of the employee's information because of the time, right? But tomorrow we're going to continue on that. Let's wait for the others because there are two groups still working. Okay, so here we go. And let's get the start here, okay? So here, it is uh, this block of sentences, the ones that you are supposed to use over here, according to the context. They are along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, under. Number one, the sport palace is? In front of, in front of. In front of the bank. In Number front two, of. the city hall is? Between. Between the church and the book world, because between is for two. The restaurant is? Along Fish Avenue. Along First Avenue. The church and the city hall are? 
In front of the park. In front of the park. Okay, so. I only have one student, two students, Filomena and Dani, because the others, I don't see your beautiful faces. Let me see, but I read the names, Jose Mejia, Ana Veronica, your beautiful face. Uh, Marlene, William Francisco, Ivania, Barbara, Clelia, Carlos Miguel, Jonathan, where are you? I need to see you, Jonathan. Serafín Constanza and Guillermo. Okay, class, listen. Uh, Jonathan, I need you to help me after class, 10 minutes, okay? Jonathan, okay, okay. 10 okay. minutes after class. Remember class, complete all the homeworks and the final exam. And I hope to see you tomorrow. I need to see you tomorrow at 8 30. We're going to, and we're going to be monitored. Y nos van a estar monitoreando que completemos esa encuesta acá en clase. Okay, porque es extremadamente importante para Instaform y para la implementadora inglés corporativo para ustedes y para mí. Okay? So, porque tenemos que tomar exactamente y tiene que ir una tras otra las screenshots de eh, esa información, de esa encuesta de satisfacción. Okay? Porque no queda evidencia. Solamente la evidencia que usted lo completó y cumplió con ese requisito es la screenshot que va a compartir vía WhatsApp. Ok, y para mañana sí, nombres completitos, así como aparece en el ID para que identifiquen qué es eh, su encuesta. Ok, porque hay nombres parecidos y casualmente hay nombres y apellidos parecidos. Y como eso se va a ir a Instaport automáticamente, entonces no voy a hacer que se confunda con otro nombre. Ok, thank you very much for being in my class. I am really happy because you were here. Have a good night. Happy sleep. See you tomorrow. Only Jonathan stays with Happy me. Bye. Bye. God bless you. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Work. Bye bye. Take care. Happy sleep. Bye. Hello, Jonathan. Bye. Okay, you were teaching technology to your partners. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jonathan. Tell me, Jonathan, do you have any problem with these propositions? No. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, sí, el along. Este, según la traducción de, de Google Translator, uh, Translator uh, <laughs> es uh -huh. junto, junto a o, o a lo largo de algo así. Uh -huh. Así eh, es. Ver. Es como que dijéramos on, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Kind of synonym of on. Porque si usted dice, uh, the sport palace is on the, uh, uy, no, the, the, let me see here, number three, the restaurant is along First Avenue. Quiere decir mm -hmm. que en esa calle, sobre esa calle, ¿sí? Ah, es como que dijera on. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque por nosotros este, le pusimos a la número cuatro, number four. Mm, pero no, sé no si pero, igual, pero acá vamos a no, uh -huh. pero acá no, porque aquí the church and the city hall are, eh, es en relación, estos dos lugares en relación al parque. Y si se fija usted, uh, let's see, ok, the church and the city hall en relación al parque, no le están preguntando por calle. Entonces, mm -hmm. ahí tenemos que utilizar in front of, across from, opposite, mm -hmm. ok pero vamos a utilizar along cuando mencionamos las calles, ¿sí? O avenidas, ah. ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Muy vamos bien. Ok, ¿qué más? Veamos. Con las, con las WH information questions, no hay problema. Este, por lo menos el wish me, uh -huh. me confundía que es cuál, si no me equivoco. Sí, cuál. Y, y what. ¿Está bien cuál o cuál era? Sí, Perdón. pero lo que sucede es que vamos a utilizar which cuando tenemos un, para alternativas, pero con, un, con opciones limitadas. Ejemplo, if I say, okay, which is your favorite um, 
vanilla or chocolate. Tiene dos posibilidades, dos alternativas nada más. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, por eso le digo, which is your favorite, vanilla or chocolate? Pero si yo le pregunto a usted, what's, what's your name? Usted me dice, my name my is... Name is Ajá, ¿por qué? Yeah. Porque usted... Hasta acá sus padres tuvieron infinidad de nombres, sí. ajá, de posibilidades. Y yo también tengo infinidad de posibilidades de que usted me diga porque cuántos nombres no hay. Sí. sí. Ok. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Y Entonces, otra. Limitadas y iguales para una infinidad. Si le digo yo, which... Is your favorite singer? No, your favorite color here. Color. Which is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Okay, porque los colores favoritos mm. de la gente son los más básicos, que no son muchos. Sí o no? Sí, sí. So you say my favorite color mm. is blue. Okay. Entonces ahí okay. tenemos. Sí. Y hay otra, otra situación que le quiero aclarar porque eh, algunos estudiantes me han preguntado. How many languages do you speak? Acá yo le estoy preguntando cuántos idiomas o lenguas hablas por la cantidad. Uh -huh. <coughs> por la cantidad. Uh -huh. Pero hay quienes preguntan. What? language do you speak? Y las dos preguntas están correctas, pero acá le están preguntando mm. específicamente por el idioma. Allá por la cantidad, mm. porque usted puede hablar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, porque son contables. Y acá, ¿cuál idioma hablas? What language do you speak? Do you speak Vietnamese? No. no. Uh, do you speak uh, Latin? Italian, yes. hay varios, Latin. Uh -huh. No, you don't speak Latin, no, you no. speak Spanish. <laughs> Imaginémonos, Spanish and English. Yes. Okay, I speak, you only say uy, Spanish. Y ella me está diciendo una, ¿verdad? Mm, no, sí. What language, cuál idioma hables? Uh -huh. Or what languages do you speak? I speak Spanish, English, and French, you may say. Or you may say, I speak Spanish, American English, and British English. Porque tiene vocabulario diferente, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay, very well. Pero también se podría decir, which English do you speak? ¿Cuál inglés hablas? Because even the computer asks you, which English do you want to use? American, Canadian, Australian, yes? yes. British, ajá, entonces, which English? Porque tenemos también una limitada cantidad de variantes en el idioma inglés, ¿sí? Okay, okay so, which English do you use? Ah. Okay. Oh, I speak British English. The Queen Elizabeth English, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Erase this and let me see. Solamente recordando que cuando preguntamos con which, vamos a contestar mm -hmm. con. Uh -huh. Ajá. Why? Con, con which? Con ah, why? Ah. Con why? Sorry. Con why? Because. Excellent. So if I ask you why do mm -hmm. you mm, why do you like working with computers, for example? Why do you like working with computers? Because not many people like to work with computers. Maybe they are afraid to challenges. Yes? And then your answer should be. Um. 
Be because uh -huh. it is very eh, es muy como ah, como como la palabra es como que me pongo retos cómo podría decir it is very challenging okay it is Desafiante. very challenging uh -huh, very sí. challenging okay, okay. Yes. it is very challenging and then we have which remember who is only for people okay where to ask for a place when mm -hmm. to ask for a date okay what it is in general okay? okay and you have more possibilities but which is exclusively when you have a limited set of possibilities or alternatives yeah mm -hmm. and over here let me see and what time there is no problem do and does i think that you don't have a problem with that right no, no, no. okay mm -hmm. do and does i think it's a present simple present tense when you add the s or es to the verbs no problem cuando le agregamos no, s no. o es al verbo en presente no. simple tercera persona no. No, no problem. okay so i want you to help me reading this okay, okay. Kevin, yes? Yeah. Yeah. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? And because I need someone to help me mob some boxes. Can you do uh, me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Uh -huh. Sure. What is it about? What does uh, Mr. Reese to do that, that day? Mm, I'm not sure. What time does he finish the war on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, now let's switch. I begin. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Mm. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I am not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday or when does he have free time? Okay. Now you read all the conversation. Ahora you alone, okay. solito. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the, pro the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I knew someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese, Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? Excellent, very well. And you don't have a problem with adjectives, with positive and negative adjectives? No. Is that clear? No. Okay. So, Jonathan, thank you for giving me your time and remember to complete your homeworks, okay? In the platform okay. and the final test. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. You tomorrow. Sleep well. Bye. bye.